What's up guys, in this video I'll be ranking the popular badminton brands from the S tier at the top down to the D tier which will be the brands which in my opinion are the worst on this list. At the bottom you can see the different brands which I'll be putting into the categories above. The first brand which I'll be ranking is Adidas. Adidas are very new to badminton and have got a lot better in the last few years. Of course they are one of the biggest sports companies in the world and would have put a lot of money into developing their equipment including their badminton rackets. Shoes are also something that they specialise in for all sports, including indoor sports like badminton, so I'm sure their badminton shoes would be some of the best in the world. I really like Adidas to be honest, I'm going to put them in the B grade tier, just because of how stylish I think that some of their clothing is and how much better I think that they're getting. They are also sponsoring more and more top professional badminton players, such as Toby Penty, who's the Great Britain's number one singles player. I think they're going to get a lot better as well in the future as more money and time gets invested into improving their badminton equipment and rackets. Up next we have Yelex and Apex. After doing some research it turns out that both of these brands sort of collaborate together. On their websites they sell both of the brands. I'm going to put them in the C grade category just because I think that they have a good range of uh, products that they sell. Uh, Apex tend to do a bit more of the racket side. Uh, they have some really good rackets and a lot of variety that you can choose between. Whereas Yelex are more of like shuttlecocks, they have some good grips which I've used. Overall though I think that they're not, nothing special, their um, clothing isn't brilliant. Apex tend to do more of the clothing compared to Yelex. But overall I'm not sure why you would pick these brand over like maybe some of the higher brands but still a really solid brand to go for with. And if you had like an Apex uh, badminton racket then it's definitely still a very good racket to use. So overall they're about a C grade, just below I think like Adidas for example where uh, I feel like Adidas are going more in that upwards direction lately compared to like Yelex and Apex. But I've used some of the Yelex shuttlecocks and I actually do think they're quite good, especially for the price that they sell them at. Up next we have Yonex. When you think of Bam a badminton brand, the first one which comes to your mind is Yonex. They deserve to be at the top of this list and therefore putting in, I'm putting them in the S tier. They sponsor so many of the top badminton um, players and have recently just had a big sponsor with the Chinese badminton team which moved their sponsorships from Leaning to Yonex. They also sponsor a lot of the major badminton tournaments including the badminton uh, the All England, the Yonex All England. One thing I really like about Yonex is how great their advertisement is. Whenever they release a new racket or some clothing you always usually hear about it. Whereas other brands you don't quite as much. For example, that when the Yonex Asterix 100 ZZ came out, you had all the top players such as Victor Axelsen, Hiroyuki Endo that switched to this racket and brought a lot of attention to their um, equipment. Uh, also, they've had so much experience in badminton that I'm sure that they've put a lot of time and research into their rackets and clothing. They're definitely the biggest badminton brand around and also are the, probably the most popular badminton brand too, um, being used by pretty much every single country that plays badminton. Next we have FZ Forza. Here I'm going to put them in the B grade category. They are a Danish badminton brand and have some of the nicest looking badminton equipment uh, around in my opinion. You see a large amount of their products in big badminton retailers and they sponsor quite a lot of professional athletes, especially the ones in Denmark. From what I've heard about their equipment as, and from the players that have used it is that they have really good quality. I have some of the Forza clothing as well and I prefer this actually over some of the Yonex and Victor brands that I have. Um, although I don't think they're quite as big as a lot of the some of the other brands above which I've got in the A and S category. All their badminton rackets are good but I wouldn't necessarily choose them in my opinion over like a Yonex or a Victor badminton racket. Uh, not because they're probably not that good of a racket, it's just that they're not that well known and as well as that you don't see many professional badminton players use these rackets. But definitely one of my favourite badminton brands is FZ Forza. Next up we have Carlton and I don't really rate Carlton at all to be honest. I'm going to put them in the D grade category. And this is a big shame to be honest because they've been one of the longest lasting badminton brands. I think they were established in like 1946 or something like that. My first badminton racket ever actually was a Carlton racket which I really enjoyed. But lately in my opinion I think they've just gone really downhill. If you go on their website for example and you select clothing it doesn't even have any options available. Um, if you look at their rackets I don't see why you would pick a high-end racket over like other companies and brands which I have ranked above them. 
The only thing I would say they probably do have quite well is they have some good plastic shuttlecocks if you're like a beginner. I also, if you wanted some like beginner badminton rackets, for example, then Carlton is a good choice. But compared to like the other brands, I would still choose them over Carlton. Uh, their feather shuttlecocks aren't that great either. I've used them and they're nothing like Yonex, for example, or Victor, or even like uh, Yelex, for example. So yeah, Carlton are getting the D grade category. Li Ning are another massive company from China, and up until recently, all of the Chinese badminton players used Li Ning rackets. Even though they are sponsored by Yonex now, you still see a lot of pros using Li Ning rackets, such as Anthony Ginting and Yuta Watanabe. I haven't personally had too much experience with Li Ning, as they are mainly a company in Asia and not so common in Europe. However, I'm going to put them in the A category just because they are one of the biggest brands in badminton and provide some amazing badminton rackets and great clothing and equipment. I've used some of their rackets for a short period of time and I've definitely found that they've been good to use and they also have a lot of choice at the high end tier for many people who want a, uh, an expensive badminton racket. Although I don't think they're quite on the level of Yonex just because I don't think they their company is as their branding is as big and they don't sponsor many events like uh, Yonex does and especially now that they've been um, bought out by the uh, Chinese badminton team. In my opinion, Babala are at the same level as Adidas at the moment. They are similar in that they are relatively new to the sport and both companies are big on the world stage and don't mainly focus on badminton. The Badminton World Federation have also approved their shuttles like Adidas and FC Forza, who are at the same level, who I'm going to put them at the grade B. I'm also really impressed with their shoes and equipment. I think they compete a lot with the Yonex and offer a similar quality for slightly cheaper prices. They are also a high-end high brand, which obviously are well known for their tennis and other sports as well. They are also bringing out more and more high-level badminton rackets. Uh, they high expensive ranges and they're sponsoring more and more athletes for example Chloe Birch from England um, I would like to see how they get on in the future and it would be cool to see them sponsor some more top athletes and become bigger in badminton and push brands like Yonex and Victor to get perhaps uh, if I made this video in the future perhaps they could be in the grade A category as well. Caracol are quite a small brand but I actually quite like them they're not as well known as a lot of the other brands on this list and they don't have a lot of quantity in their equipment and rackets. They only have a few pairs of shoes in their website, and personally, I wouldn't choose to buy a Caracal racket, just because if I was to buy one, I wouldn't really know what I was getting. I think that is a problem with small brands like Caracal. They are not that popular, and if you were going to buy some badminton equipment, there are, such, there are much more uh, other options and brands out there to choose between. I'm going to put Caracal at the bottom in the D grade, Although I do really respect how it looks like they are sponsoring some semi-professional and lower level professional badminton players. I have actually used their badminton grits before, which I found to be really nice, so I do think that they sell some quality products. Victor are actually my favourite badminton brand, they seem to do everything so well. I really like their badminton rackets, in fact I have about 5 or 6 of their rackets, and I currently use the Victor Aura Speed 90k, which I love to use. They also have a great selection of high-end rackets, such as the Aura Speed, the Jet Speeds, and now the Drive Series badminton rackets. They are great at bringing out new technology, such as the new racket handles that they have, which are made out of a different material compared to the majority of badminton rackets, which are made out of wood. Another thing I really like about them is that their clothing is really nice, and I love the look of them. The styles that they have are really creative and feel really nice to wear. They have such a large variety of clothing too. It just seems like whatever Victor do, they do really well and to a high quality. Their shoes are another thing that I think have improved on, they have improved on a lot. Victor also sponsor a lot of high quality badminton players, such as Anders Antonsen, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan, to name a few. They also sponsor some BWF international tournaments too. I'm going to grade them an I'm going to rank them as an A grade, just underneath Yonex, even though in my opinion there is not much in it at all. I just think that Yonex are a bigger company and have a larger influence in badminton. I also prefer the Yonex shuttlecocks, even though Victor do have some good shuttlecocks too. If you compare them price for price, I think that Yonex have the advantage. I would rather use the Yonex AS30 shuttlecocks rather than the Victor Gold Champion Feathers for a similar price.
Up next we have Ashway, and before making this video, I thought Ashway were a top brand, and without any research, I probably would have put them into the C or B category. But after looking at their website, there is really not that much that they do well. They only have one pair of badminton shoes, their clothing is really poor and limited, and their badminton rackets are not that popular, especially with professional players. I can't think of any pro badminton players that are sponsored by Ashaway. Although I do think that their badminton rackets are not bad, and would certainly still be very good to use. Another thing that I like about Ashaway is their badminton strings. The Zymax strings which they have are actually quite popular, and I enjoyed using them in the past. I was torn whether or not I should put them in the D or C category, although as a brand, I don't think they are really any better than Carlton or Caracal so therefore I'm going to put them in the D category. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me, or do you think there should be changes to this tier list? Uh, this is obviously just my opinion, and what, I, what brands I think are the best um, and the worst. Please subscribe to the channel to see more badminton content. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.